Hey everyone, it's John from Evolve. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the new Tesla Gray. So what we're looking at here are two Model S's, one in the old gray and one in the new Stealth Gray. You can see that the color has a little more blue to it. It's a little deeper than the old gray. But a couple important things to know about these new colors. One is, is this a two-stage paint? Is this a three-stage paint? Or is this really a four-stage paint? The aftermarket uh, providers for paint, there's companies like EPG and Exulta and BASF, they'll formulate these colors in the aftermarket. So what's sprayed in the factory is not what you can get in the aftermarket. For example, what we use here in our paint department to refinish some of these vehicles. So what has to happen is they have to formulate the colors themselves and come as close as possible. But what color is this and how is this color made? So what I can tell you is on the original gray, this is what would be called a two-stage color. And so we'll take a look at that. In a two-stage color, like we're seeing here, what, what are the two stages? So the first stage is the color itself and the effect. So that's the sparkle. That has no gloss, and that's used in refinishing, like we do here in our refinish department, to blend the color out so the eye doesn't detect anything different. If you're going to blend a two-stage, you have to have enough room in the repair so that the eye can't pick up the color difference, because the truth is it's never going to be exactly the same color, primarily because it's not the same paint that was used in the factory, and it can't be the same paint that's used in the factory for lots of environmental reasons. So this is a two-stage gray. Um, the second stage is the clear coat, and it's simply clear. And if you were to look at it, and maybe we can take a look at one, uh, it's just clear that has a hardener in it and is the protective uh, coating. So it provides the gloss and all the protection. Some newer colors now are three-stage colors, and some are four. Technically, some could be five. So stealth gray, is this a two stage? Is it a three stage? Is it a four stage? Is it a five stage? I don't know the answer. I'll try to find out. But what we know is in the aftermarket, the manufacturers that sell the material to put this color back together have a two stage version of this color. Now is it, at this moment, is it correct? Pretty close, uh, probably pretty good, but I bet you anything that we'll see a three stage solution to this color because most likely, it's a three or even four. So let's talk about a four or a five stage color. So there's some colors, for example, on the Mazda, there's a machine gray and there's a, I'm sure you've seen Mazdas with this candy apple red. The reality is that's a five stage color and it means the first color is the undercoat or the sealer itself. Uh, and they'll use what's called a G-shade. So the sealer that they apply before any color goes on the car can be anywhere from a white to a black. And there's seven different stages inside there. But today, that sealer is actually used as a part of the color. It makes sort of the basis for the other color. And you can kind of see it through the other layers where in the past, you'd get 100% coverage. It's not, it's not the truth today any longer. So stage one would be that sealer and G-shade. Stage two would be a ground coat. A ground coat, in many cases, looks nothing like the finished color. For example, the ground coat on the original Tesla red, before the ultra red, if, when you spray it, it's sort of a pink. Uh, if you saw it sprayed, you would assume that you've, you've made a mistake and it's the wrong color. That's how different it is. But the ground coat itself provides the basis for the technology coat or coats that go on top of that. So the third stage, in many cases, would be that tinted clear, and you can see it on the Tesla red, the old original red. It's a, it's a candy apple color, and if you've seen a candy apple at the farmer's market, for example, you can see the apple through it. It's the same condition. You would sp spray that ground coat and then that tinted clear on top of that. That tinted clear for each coat that you apply, it, makes, it changes the color, sometimes darker, sometimes brighter but you have to know how many coats of that tinted clear to apply so that you can get the color exactly right. And just to throw uh, something into the mix, there's this new idea of a technology coat. Uh, and a technology coat could be simply a prismatic flake that allows light to either pass through or refract. 
And when that happens, you either see the color below or you see a different color uh, or you see what might be a, a, a different tone or a flip to the paint itself. So if you have four, the fifth coat would be a clear coat and that kind of seals the whole thing and then make sure that there's both gloss and protection for the vehicle. So for a, an example of the variations and the differences in color, we can take a look at a few. So these are some of our spray out panels. Uh, here we're looking at just Tesla spray out panels and we'll take a look at the Tesla red, the original red as an example just to see. So each one of these is a variation on the color. Let's take a look in the light for a moment. Okay, so under the light, we're taking a look at the original Tesla Red or PMMR is the paint code. And you can see this is all the same paint code and all of the variations. I'll move them a little bit so you can pick up the differences. But each one of these spray outs has a slight variation in the application. We'll take a look here, for example. Here's a PMMR. I'll move so you can see the differences. And if you'll, you can notice there's three basic colors in here, although it's exactly the same color. Here's the difference. We're looking at one coat of tinted clear, two coats of tinted clear, three coats of tinted clear. Look how much color difference there is between those three. How do you get there? You got to understand what color you have on the car right now, how much tinted clear is on that car from the factory, and there are slight variations. And we can keep looking at all of the different variations in here. Some of these would be a variation in the ground coat, a different formula for the ground coat. You can see on this card, with a different, same exact formula, but a different ground coat we've used. And you can see quite dramatic difference between those. To me, I see six different colors there. It's all the same color. So application, knowledge, mix, experience, all factor into getting the color of your vehicle right. All right, let's take a look at white. As you can see, pearl white's a common color, and I believe it's the color for, the, for a long time now that has been no upcharge at Tesla. You can see there's three sitting right behind us here. But let's take a look at the pearl white. So try to get this in the light so that you can see the differences. We've got the same thing here, for example. On this one chip, you can see three basic colors. They're, it's exactly the same color. The only difference here is the mid coat. In this case, it's a pearl coat or an effect coat that's sprayed. And we'll see there is one coat applied, one and a half coats applied, two coats applied, and what a radical difference in color that makes. Each one of these, these are our own spray outs from testing to get the color right. You can see each one of these also has variation in the ground coat color. So lots of potential options, and you really have to take your time to do spray out panels. They'll call these let down panels so that we can get the color right on a vehicle. But a lot goes into it. So there's just a, a few examples of pearl white. So why is it important to know this stuff? Um, it's tricky these days to make sure that your color matches after a repair and there's quite a bit to it. In many cases, if you think about this idea of each one of those colors really having to be, we'll use the term blended out, you need some room so the eyeball doesn't see the difference because you're never going to get it exactly right. So it's the distance. Let's say, oh, 18 inches or so is the amount of distance that you need so the eye can't see it and you can lose it. If you've got 18 inches, you've got in, in a five stage color, you've got that four times. So we're talking about several feet on a car potentially. If you had a repair up here, for example, and it was a five stage color, we may have to go all the way back to the rear door in order to lose that difference in color. So this can be a challenge. It certainly is a challenge to refinish, but it can be a challenge to get paid by your insurance company to do that work. So a lot's changing with paint materials. There's a long way to go to get uh, knowledge, understanding about the right way to fix these things out there. 
Um, but as an example, with the Stealth versus the original, you can see the impact. It's a, just a beautiful color and a lot richer than the original. All right, so there's a few examples of color match, really trying to highlight the new Stealth Gray Tesla and the differences in it. And just want to say thank you for watching our channel. As always, if you have any questions on color match or anything about EVs, please leave in our comments below and we'll answer on our monthly podcast. Thanks for watching.